Okay, guys, and welcome to my round view, uh, round one uh, Supercoach team review. Uh, hopefully not, but maybe the last one for the year. Um, with the season being postponed at the moment and the world and country going into lockdown. Um, so a score of 21.52, top 17%, not the best, uh, but still happy with it. Um, season ranked 26,704 and 7 out of 10 league wins. Uh, we'll jump into the leagues, see... Uh, See how they went uh, real quick. So, in my first league, I won that one against Grundy 7. Uh, second league against Ballroom Blitz, I won that one. Third league against Deji, I lost that one. What did he score? 22.03. That's a decent score. Fourth league was a win against Dirty Balls. And fifth league was a win against Gorn for Brownlow. Uh, we'll just jump into them and see. Uh, oh, yep, so I must have got the high score for that league. Dimmer Sims. <laughs> Love that. Constables, 52, 40, 22. Fuck, I don't know how to read Roman numerals. Quick Lips. Nokia Cockatoo. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, a couple of... What do we get there? Top eight rounded out there. Obviously, it's a first first league, so uh, first round. So the eight teams would have, that won it um, would be sitting top eight. Uh, view this league. Dimmer Sims on top there. I'm coming in second there. Uh, third league. Nuts and Bolters on the top there. Fish and Crips. Stay psyched, Fast Flyers. And I'm rounded out the 10. Jeez, Deji got a nice score and only finished 8. Jeez, how many? Oh, shit, 22 26. That's a big score. Um, and then 30, uh, the fourth league. Fine Dog at C SCT. And I'm sitting in the third there. Frio's Freezers. Truly absurd. Hocus Pocus. And then in the last league. Oh my Goddard, Baby Metal, CJ Mole, Supercoach Steel, and coming in at the 7th there, so, yeah, good round one, um, some decent scores for sure, but yeah, we'll jump into my team, we'll see what worked and what didn't, um, found back Laird, I, I, I dropped Houston for Laird, uh, hoping for a better score than that, but I'll, you know, Laird's pretty consistent, Doherty 117, love that, Robert in 26, don't love that. I got me rookies right. Noble, Zerk Thatcher, and Brander on field with Starkovic. A little scoring less. And Gould, uh, Gould not even playing. Jack McRae, 103. Lockie Neal, 157. Went huge. Fife, 110. Kelly, 102. Cripper, 112. And Danger, 83. So there, there was always a risk with Danger because of the DeBoer tag. I thought if I could get a 90 out of him, I'd be happy with that. So 83. He was on 38 at quarter time. I thought, you beauty, here we go. But yeah, not to be. So, And then Rail and Pickett. Rail 80, Pickett 94 for me rookies with Green, Brown, and McKinry on the bench. Obviously, McKinry scored a bit better than Rail, but I mean, one point. Uh, Grundy captain had the VC on Cripper and then went Grundy. Gorn 93. Um, yeah, he just. He was on like. 45 halfway through the third quarter, so I'm happy with that 9-3 in the end. I got Luke Jackson in as well because I had some bit of cash left over. But yeah, Gorn didn't quite do Gorn things round one, that's for sure. Uh, Whitfield, 109. Dev Smith, 105. So they're the only two sort of premium forwards I was going into the into the round with. Georgia Diz, or however you say that, 78. Taylor, 79. Cavara, 32. And Buterick, 44. So King on the ground would have got me an extra 10 points. But yeah, it is what it is. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's me round one review. Um, to be honest, if round two is going ahead, I wasn't going to do any trades. I know you've only, we've only got 17 rounds, so you can kind of trade aggressive. If you're going to trade aggressive, this is the year for it, for sure. Definitely for sure, because, yet you know, no buys and 30 trades for 17 rounds is really decent. But yeah, I would have I would have not done any trades. Um and went back in with this team. Um, just for interest sakes, who's playing who this week? 
What the fuck? Next lockout, 67 days, 31st of May. Uh, I don't know, they're not the right games and teams uh, times anyway, but... So, obviously, Supercoach is going to go on pause for the time being. Um, footy's on pause for the time being. Uh, there's still content that can definitely be made, um, footy-wise. I know I'll still be making videos. There'll be some video, like, gaming stuff, like a bit of Call of Duty and stuff like that. So, um, if you're interested in that stuff, definitely check the videos out. Um, I try to make them as entertaining as I can. Um... If you're not into that stuff, that's fair enough. But uh, AFL Evolution 2, that comes out in April. Um, I'm going to be getting that the day it comes out. I'm going to be doing a lot of videos with AFL, 2, uh, AFL Evolution 2. Um, probably be streaming it as well. I've been streaming a bit lately. Um, I'll have my Twitch thing in my description if you want to come and check out any streams I do. Um, it's pretty cool. We, like Get a few people in the chat. And we just hang out talking trash while I'm trying to, trying to kill people in COD. So it's pretty fun. But yeah, um, other than that, that's sort of all I can really say on Supercoach at the moment. Um, I might do a video this week. I did a pods video before the season come out. I wouldn't mind going back and seeing how those pods perform this week just to kind of... I know, I think Josh Kennedy played all right. Shannon Hearn got a huge score. He was the one I suggested. Um, how did Ablett end up scoring? Because I had him as... And with... Um, 91. See, that's not bad for a forward. Um, and with the 17 games, because there's more more being played close together, it's probably not that good of a pick, to be fair. But yeah, we'll look at that. Um, and anything else I come up with, I'll chuck a video out. But yeah, I'm definitely going to be keep putting videos out. So stay tuned for them. But yeah, thanks for checking out me round one review. Hopefully we get a round two. And hopefully it's in 67 days. But yeah, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.